All right, so I've been getting a lot of feedback and questions on the video I posted yesterday about being able to rebuild an intervertebral disc from the outside. So this is a groundbreaking achievement. It's a trailblazing capability that has been only made possible by advents in technology. Um, 20 years ago, we didn't have the technology that we have now. Uh, when I first went into practice, you know, the hands were the best things to use. Um, it was the beginning of lasers, there was electro, you know, uh, um, inferential therapy, ultrasound, the usual physiotherapy-based methods. It's come so far since that point, it, it's mind-blowing the capabilities that we have now from the outside of the body that we didn't have before. And, and it's surpassed anything you can almost do from the inside of the body at this point. And from the inside of the body, surgery, for example, medications, you're changing other environments or other components of the environment in the body that can create other problems. So side effects from medications, um, you know, poor recovery from surgery because of scar tissue, tissue damage in other areas. I see that all the time. Failed back surgery syndrome. It's huge. Um, so many people have surgery and it doesn't quite work out the way that they want it to or that they think it should. And even the medical community agrees with the fact that surgery is not always the best option. And in fact, it can create more problems than it causes or than it, than it solves. Sorry. Um, they admit that, you know, surgery is a crapshoot. Uh, medications are often a crapshoot. Now we're presented with the ability to rebuild a spinal disc from the outside. It doesn't even limit us to discs. So knees, hip joints, um, there are technologies now that can rebuild cartilage. That's something crazy because when I first went to school, you couldn't rebuild cartilage. Cartilage, once it's damaged, is gone. There were some supplements that could help slow the process, but with hydrotherapy-based shockwave equipment, you can actually, there have been studies that have shown a 30% increase in cartilage thickness by using this technology. Why this is important for discs. <clears throat> the outside of a disc is made of cartilage. The inside is a gelatinous material. The disc could be compared to a jelly donut. So say I take a bite out of the outside of a jelly donut and I could you're going to see the inside of it leak out, obviously. Um, kind of a weird analogy, but we're going to we're going to run with it. Replacing what I bit off is essentially what this machine can do. It can patch that hole. Tire, losing air, puncture the tire. What do you do? Most of the time now you buy a new tire. However, back in the day, what you used to be able to do was called a flat repair. You actually glue a piece of rubber into the tire, you stick it through the hole, it comes out a little bit with a little bit of glue, that glue basically welds itself chemically to the to the rubber in the tire, you have a flat repair. You can pretty much do a flat repair on a disc from the outside with this technology and how it works. So the first part of the technology, the first part of the protocol I actually designed called Robotic Laser Enhanced Spinal Decompression. So we use lasers, I'm sure a lot of you have seen some of the videos on this, we use targeted laser, targeted robotic laser, to isolate the area in the spine where the problem is. So if I have a disc L4, L5, so specific level in the spine, I position the patient such, such that the laser targets that area, the programming in the laser programmed to target that area. So I work on that area with the laser. Then I decompress the spine. So I decompress it. It's essentially computer controlled traction that's a lot smarter than regular traction, and it decompresses the area. So if the softer area where I've treated with laser is softer, softer tissue stretches better. So that's how I focus the decompressive force on that area. The other thing that a lot, that doesn't get talked about a lot, um, autophagy. So the ability of the body to get rid of damaged material. So you have cells that come in that remove damaged tissue. So tissue gets damaged, it gets inflamed. 
that builds up. Tissue gets further damaged, more inflammation, more damage, more inflammation, more pain, less function. That's what happens. That's why patients get to the point where, you know, I thought it was going to be okay on its own, and then it usually is, and now it isn't. I don't know what to do, because so much inflammation and damage is built up, and nothing has allowed it to come out. Nothing has allowed the old stuff to be removed. It's like if you have garbage at your front step, and you keep throwing it there and throwing it there and throwing it there, and nobody ever takes it away, the garbage never comes to pick it up, then you have your front door blocked by garbage. What are you going to do? You can't get out of the house. This is what happens in the tissue. So if you have nothing that brings that out, then it gets all blocked up and you lose function. Too much garbage in front of your front door, you lose function of the front door. Simple as that. Laser and decompression and hydrotherapy-based shockwave opens up all this circulation, takes out the old garbage, brings in new circulation to help heal the area. So nourishment from the blood, getting rid of the irritating inflammation and damaged tissue that is making all the pain and all the dysfunction, using the shockwave, hydrotherapy-based shockwave to help stimulate the area, create stem cell proliferation. Stem cells are what rebuilds the regular tissue. Normally what happens is scar tissue comes in. Scar tissue is just, um, is just undifferentiated tissue that goes in and repairs a hole, repairs an area. If you've had an incision from a surgery, you know the incision is like a little tougher than what the rest of the skin is. That's because that's scar tissue. If you could then, now some people are actually doing this with the, with the shockwave and with lasers, treating a scar, treating a, an area of incision so the scar tissue is less, the area is softer, you don't end up with problems with the scar tissue. This can be done to the inside of the disc, to the outside of the disc with these technologies. And that's why it works. So you decompress a specific area, you build up the disc, you increase the hydration to it, you build up the center of the disc, which is all the water, all the gelatinous material, then once that's achieved, you use the hydrotherapy-based shockwave to go in and strengthen the outside of the disc. So what you've created is a tire that's lost air. You pump it back up so it's good again. Then you patch the hole. That's exactly what's happening. We can do that from the outside with these technologies. Now, it takes some time. Nothing happens overnight like that. It's not a magic pill. It's like going to the gym. If you go to the gym once, you feel good after, and that goes away the next day. If you go the next day, that continues. And if you keep doing it, then you get the results. You are in better shape. You feel better. You look better. You function better. That happens over time. That's the way the body makes change. You need continual support. You need continual action. You don't need to do this thing forever like you would with the gym. You need to do it intensively for a certain period of time to build up the area and repair everything. And then on a semi-regular maintenance basis, you do it so the problem doesn't come back. And this is the great thing about having this hydrotherapy-based shockwave capability. This has only been possible technically in the last two years. In the last few months is when we've combined everything. So these studies about cartilage, that's what really got me interested in it because I'm like, you know, if you can rebuild knee cartilage, the disc is made of the same thing. You can rebuild the disc. That's where the capability has come from. We have the proprietary technology to rebuild the disc with the laser and decompression. We've been doing that for years. Now we have the capability to seal the outside of the disc like never before. Take out the garbage, get rid of the inflammation, heal the area. And this is with new technology. This is not something that was possible 10 years ago. Microdiscectomies, surgeries, sometimes were the best option for people who weren't helped through regular therapeutic methods. Now the amazing part is with the right technology, we can offer these things to patients that have not had hope before. I see patients every day in years and years and years of pain. Doctors don't believe that they have a problem because it's gone on so long and it should have healed itself. Well, you and I both know, and especially if you're one of the patients that has had these conditions, or if you're one of the doctors that has treated people in consistent pain with no hope, and see what that does to their lives, see what that does to their families, you know how important this is. You know how important these new capabilities are, and being open to these new capabilities. And some doctors arguably are not ready to be able to do things like this. 
it scares them. Um, you have more complicated cases. You have more detailed things you need to manage. But that's what being a doctor is to me. That's what wanting new capabilities for your patients is to me. And that's exciting to me. I want to do that stuff. I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over again every day. That's like an assembly line to me. Being able to solve specific problems for specific patients and return hope to these lives so they don't have to go on medications they're going to be addicted to or need the rest of their lives so they don't have to just live with the pain like their doctors who don't know any better are telling them. That's why it's so important to get this stuff out there. So I hope you've learned a little something from this uh, spiel here. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more shows and education on it um, just to get the word out because we're at a point with medical. I hear patients all the time coming back to me saying their doctor gave them an MRI and it'll be in three months. Uh, the doctor said nothing's wrong with me. Well, you've got the pain. you got the problem. You can't use the area like you should be able to there's obviously a problem you're not just faking it it's not just in your head it's that they don't have the right solution so they don't know what to tell you more doctors that know about these technologies existing and not just in the chiropractic end of thing but medical if you're a patient and your doctor doesn't know this stuff i have information packages that can help the doctor understand what capabilities are available in therapeutic medicine right now it's not just an initiative for my company to provide more devices. It's not just an initiative for my clinic to be busier. It is an initiative to get the information out there to doctors that are right now telling their patient there's no hope because there is hope. They just need the right information, the right educa education, and they aren't going to get it in the position they're in. They're going to get new drugs. They're going to get more surgeries. That's all they've been taught. And You'd be surprised that a lot of medical doctors that refer to us are very hungry for this type of information because they're humans too. They want to help people, but you feel powerless when you don't have an answer, so you don't know what to say. They feel empowered when they've got the answer. The patient, the doctors that refer to us in our clinics and our doctors that have our equipment, um, they love it. They're like, wow, I have a new solution for this patient that I kept telling to go away because I didn't have an answer. And they started hating me because I kept telling them to go away. Now I can tell them, try this, not just go to physio and build your core strength. If you've got a disc injury, your core strength is just going to strengthen a disc injury. And it's probably going to make it worse. If you rebuild it and then strengthen, that's the answer. Most of the doctors don't know this. So pass this information on, share this information, this is public service announcement. We need to get this stuff out there. We need to get more doctors providing it. We need to get more doctors knowing about it. We need to get more patients with a return to hope and a return to the life they deserve. That's why we do this. Thank you so much for watching this. I know it's been a long one, uh, but it's some important information and uh, it's very important that you share it. Thanks so much in helping me helping me pass the word on to people who are going to benefit immensely because of it. Really, it's a good deed is what it is. So do a good deed today. Share this. If we can help anybody, we're absolutely willing. Doctor, patient, anybody. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.